This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm joined by a sporting, a boxing legend, former three-weight world champion, seven-time world champion, Marco Antonio Barrera. Um, we know what's in store for Marco on July 2nd in, in Manchester, but how's he been enjoying uh, retired life? How's he doing? Sabemos lo que te espera ahorita el, el 2 de julio, pero lo que quieres saber ahorita es cómo te va en tu vida retirada. Bueno, va muy bien, estoy muy contento eh, haciendo boxeo, Marvation, eh, la arena, barrera boxing, Gil, Gilbert, Giver. Eh, queremos sacar un campeón del mundo y aparte pues trabajando aquí en los medios. Says very good, retired life. I'm working on a few projects, work, working with Marv Nation, with la arena, boxing, with Giver, boxing basically, working to, to make some world champions. Okay, well it sounds like... Uh, you're very busy in retirement and you seem happy in retirement. So that begs the question in terms of July 2nd, why are you taking that fight with uh, Ricky Hatton? Se mira que estás muy contento en tu retiro. Entonces eso me lleva a preguntarte por qué tomar la pelea con Ricky Hatton. Bueno, tomarla porque no es una pelea, es una exhibición. Y aparte tenemos una amistad de muchos, muchos años. Creo que vamos a disfrutar estar arriba del ring. Well, I'm taking it because it's not a real fight, it's an exhibition fight and we're going to enjoy it. We're going to enjoy that time in the ring. Just curious, of course, uh, yourself and Ricky both fought at light well away um, at 140 pounds. So was there ever discussions uh, during your professional careers about that potential fight? Que los dos más o menos estuvieron como en 140 libras, dice que si algún tiempo pensaron hacer la pelea con Ricky Hatton. No, no, yo cuando conocí a Ricky Hatton yo era 122 libras y máximo peleé Fui campeón mundial en la 130, por eso nunca se pensó una pelea con él. Yeah. When I met Ricky Hatton, I was actually weighing 122 pounds. I went up to 126, that's where, you know, I was a champion and he was uh, in a different division, so we never thought about making that fight happen. So how did this exhibition come about? What were the talks to lead uh, a fight with you and Ricky being made? ¿Cómo salió esta pelea de exhibición? ¿Qué pláticas tuvieron para que llegara a hacerse esta pelea? Bueno, primeramente platicamos con la gente, bueno, nos contactó la gente de Ricky para invitarnos a la exhibición, que querían hacer un evento en la Arena H2 o so diferente, eh, un MMA contra un boxeador y música, y que van a hacer una tipo fiesta ese día. So, Ricky's team reached out to us, they said that they wanted to do a, a special event where it was MMA fighters, boxing, and a, some type of celebration out there. So that's how it came about. Of course, uh, Marco shared the ring with some British boxing legends, uh, Nassim Hamid, Amir Khan. He goes in with Ricky Hatton, I know, in an exhibition uh, type environment. But just out of curiosity, who does Marco see as some of the best British fighters that have uh, come out of his era? Dice que tú has compartido el ring con muchos uh, peleadores de Inglaterra. Dice alguna de las leyendas. ¿Y cuál es uno de las leyendas o de los mejores boxeadores, el mejor boxeador que tú consideras de Inglaterra? Bueno, de los que yo me enfrenté, el mejor boxeador eh, era Nassim Hamed en esos tiempos. Y, y aparte, Inglaterra ha dado extraordinarios eh, boxeadores, Ricky Hatton uno de ellos, y actualmente Tyson Fury, el mejor peso completo. So, I would say that one of the ones that I personally uh, fought in the ring was Nassim Hamed. Nassim yeah. Hamed. And after that, it was Ricky uh, Hatton and Tyson Fury, which I consider the best. What did you think about Ricky's career? ¿Qué es lo que crees tú de la carrera de Ricky? Que fue una carrera extraordinaria. Tenía un estilo, él también tenía un estilo tipo mexicano. Le gustaba el intercambio de golpes y eran peleas ensangrentadas las de él. Um, I think he had an extraordinary career and style. He, he loved Mexican style and all of his fights were bloody. Yes. And uh, just away from July 2nd and the exhibition fight, which we look forward to between yourself and Ricky, want to get his thoughts on this weekend's clash between Canelo Alvarez, another Mexican boxing legend, and Dimitri Bivol. Um, how much of a chance does he give Dimitri Bivol? Ya aparte de hablar de la exhibición, quisiera uh, tu comentario sobre la pelea este fin de semana entre uh, Canelo Alvarez y, y Bivol. ¿Qué tanta oportunidad le das tú a Bivol para que? Bueno, es un peleador largo, grande, seis pies. Aunque el récord tiene 19-11, Amateur tuvo más de 280 y tantas peleas. Yo creo que si viene bien preparado y da espectáculo, vamos a ver algo bien, porque Saúl actualmente como está, pienso que difícilmente le ganaría. He's a tough fighter. 
in, even though he has a, I said 19, 20 fights, but he had a, an extensive amateur record with over 200 fights. 200, 285 fights. So that's a, a lot of experience. And um, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más que Yo pienso que si sale a hacer bien las cosas va a dar un buen espectáculo porque es muy grande, seis pies y tiene un alcance muy largo. And I think he's going to give a tremendous fight because he's, you know, over six feet and he has a long, longer reach over, over Canelo. And just like Marco, Canelo has been going through the weights and winning world championship at, championships at different weights. There has been talk from Canelo and Eddie Reynoso uh, about a potential fight with Alexander Usyk at 201 pounds, so a heavyweight limit, but just one over the cruiserweight limit. Um, does he think that's realistic? And how much of a chance would he give Canelo against Alexander Husik, the heavyweight world champion at the moment? Dice ya que Canelo ha estado subiendo de divisiones y divisiones. Ha estado platicando entre Canelo y Eddie Hearns de subir a arriba de 200 libras, 201 con Ale, Alexander Husik para una pelea. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tan realista crees tú que sea esa pelea? Bueno, en, en realidad yo la veo muy difícil que ver a Saúl Canelo Álvarez sin pelear en 200 libras, pero pues ahorita el negocio es el que manda y todo puede suceder y pues no sé, no me la imagino a Saúl con Yusik en un cuilater. Yeah, he said uh, in reality I see that as a very difficult to see Canelo fight over 200 pounds, but you know what, in today's time business is business, you know, and it could be a possibility because of that, and you know, but I, I really don't see that, that happening. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time for translating here and also uh, a pleasure speaking to Marco Antonio Barrera. We look forward to speaking to you on IFL TV in Manchester. Safe travels to the UK when you come. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Been a pleasure. Dice que muchas gracias por la entrevista. Dice que está esperando verte allá en el Inglaterra y muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Andrea, muchas gracias y espero que disfruten la exhibición. Thank you very much and I hope everyone enjoys the exhibition. We'll see you there. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.